can have a beautiful website, you can have it run fast, you can have interesting technology, you can have great writing, but you put all these things together, the whole response is about all of that together. You know, it's, it's just, uh, it's a special thing. The approach that we take is that, you know, people are just going to want more. We set high expectations, the team set high expectations. They love it and they, they want more for all the right reasons. And so I think like what, what Polygon has to look forward to is continuing to meet those expectations. Oh, 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 yes. oh, yes. oh yes. Numbers going up. All right, class. That star. That star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like cross post. Polygon oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Whoa. Thanks, man. Uh, hey, everyone. Thank you. Woo! Who's killing it? Not bad. We'll see how it goes. People really love it. Like the tweets, the comments, the emails. I don't even have a number, but we've gotten thousands and thousands of each. 99% positive? The, the site was a, a huge success right off the bat. The whiskey was flowing. I just didn't expect it to be as positive as it is. I expected a backlash over the pink. I remember one comment in particular was that I'm so happy they actually made pink and purple work. So right after we went live, like, I probably should have been, like, celebrating and shaking hands. Like, you had a newborn baby, and all I could do was stare at the updates as it came through to see, like, are there going to be problems? Are people going to hate it? Oh, does anybody worry about the pink? Do people like it? If they like it, what do they like about it? Do, are people noticing the response on this? What are they saying about it? Even right now, I haven't looked at my Twitter feed in, I don't know, maybe eight minutes. I've gotten one, two, three, I've gotten, like, six to my personal, and then probably ten times that amount to Polygon. So I can't even keep up with it. I'm gonna see my house today for the first time since 5 a.m. yesterday morning. At this point, it's like, just so much weight off my shoulders, everyone's shoulders, like everyone feels great, everyone's happy. We immediately started fielding a lot of requests from people. It was, it was uh, support emails, uh, tweets. We really view these sites and experiences as apps that we will, you know, kind of refresh every day for, you know, as long as we're doing this. There's still lots of little things that I'm not super happy with, but we'll get to it. I've been trying to read the, the negative comments as well, because I think that, you know, it's constructive if you look at it the right way. You know, in the forums, we've had the product team in there answering people's questions, and, and we've gotten an immense amount of like really valuable, like meaningful feedback. We heard from a ton of people almost immediately, like you should be able to favorite forums. And it was like, oh, you're right. Like, ob yes, obviously. We want to hear from fans about what they want. Hopefully we can start giving that to them now that we don't have to worry about, you know, having uh, four walls and a ceiling, so. There's some bugs that are kind of urgent, like uh, whether or not a tag works properly on an article from the staff. That's more urgent to us than if a picture in a certain browser overextends the boundaries a little bit. It's an easier pace when you're not, when you don't have like this crushing pressure of a date, of a, of a looming date over your shoulders. We have to iterate pretty quickly, both to test out features that we're doing I and mean, producing um, and to test and deploy bug fixes for the inevitable bugs. So we have the list of bugs in fog bugs and they're prioritized into critical, high, medium, low, and then there's like fix if we have time and then nice to have stuff. What did I use today? Um, I fixed a lot of bugs. <laughs> but, and then today I'll, I'll fix more bugs. Okay, I'm gonna assume that you fixed a lot of bugs yesterday and today you're gonna fix a lot more bugs. We very often have teams working on fixes in parallel, so they need to coordinate like their uh, changes. You know, they'll do change here, the other person does a change there. Like how they're going to fit together when they do fit together, does everything work out all right? Jenkins and and Git and GitHub have been absolutely essential for us to getting all that stuff done. Now the past you know week and a half and the next five days are going to be all QA, all bug fixing, which is quite a monumental task, especially when you're working on a responsive design uh, across multiple operating systems across multiple browsers on those operating systems and across multiple breakpoints on those browsers and operating systems and then also across devices, tablets, various tablets, various tablet browsers, uh, then mobile devices, various mobile devices and browsers. So right here I got a Droid Pro, it's a 2.3.4. This one's a Samsung Galaxy S3, it runs ice cream sandwich. This is a Nexus 7, it's got Jelly Bean, uh, Droid Razor Max, and iPhone 4. You know, can't go wrong with that. It's a big part of our 
strategy is to make sure that iPhone has a great experience. We try to do stress testing, but you know, there's nothing like real traffic patterns to see you know, how your site is performing. Alex is just instrumental in kind of figuring out um, how to set these things up and how to monitor them and how to be on top of it. The same preparations we've been putting in place for every, every big event. We have to take the same precautions for Polygon's launch too. This is a service called New Relic, which is analysis of how well your application is running. There's, man, tons of graphs and tons of data that spits out, and sometimes it is a little hard to parse. There's a horrible setting in the database called a query cache. I guess once you have enough traffic and we've gotten to that point, it starts to not work so well. We have three people, so we have to manage the production systems, keep everything, like all the stuff we already have live, while handling big events too, so it's, uh, it's made for some sleepless nights. A lot of times a launch day might mean like, okay, it's like this big release, like we're done. And fortunately and unfortunately, um, it's kind of like a new beginning because we start right back up again and we never really stop. It's daunting because we're not just filling a hub on the verge anymore, we're filling an entire website. So it's a little daunting, but it's a good problem to have because there's, there are a lot of stories to tell and we're, we're striving to tell them, so we need a lot of space for it. We have been making content for nine, ten months now, but this is the first time we've been doing that under the Polygon banner. It's, you know, now there are no excuses. Yeah, it's a little stressful. For the dev team, it's it's not the start; it's the end of an, un, an old project and the start of a new project. The new project is uh, evolving and iterating on that website. I'm kind of like I'm I'm eager to get there. We've got this period of bug fixing and stuff to do first, but soon. Give us a rundown of how things are going TGS-wise. Do you feel like you're caught up on pre-TGS coverage? Uh, no. no.